Hello everybody, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Tesseract art using two boxes of catacomb command badges. The first thing you need is two boxes of catacomb command badges. Two. Okay, you need to cut out these. Make sure you clean off the flash. I'm not going to show that in the video to speed up time. Okay. There we go. Okay, we cut this here, and cut this here. Right, what should I cut this down? Try to keep the angle straight so it blends in. Just cut this like this. And the same on this side. Just like this, there you go. You should have something that looks like this if you did it all correctly. Okay, now we're glue all this together. So feel free to stop the video and follow along. I'll also speed up the glue process because this video is long enough as it is. Okay. Right, before you glue the bottom bit on, make sure you mark a piece of plastic with a knife or a pen um, with the lip is here. See this? So I'm just going to scrape this like this. Okay, and save the other side so you know where the piece connects. And now, it's time for the part that is the scariest part of the build. I'm going to cut this on both sides. You can use a Dremel, a uh, hobby saw, etc. So I'm use a Dremel just to speed things up. Just cut it like so. Try to keep the cut straight and clean because you'll be using parts later. Especially if you make a mistake, it's nice to have some spare parts. So I'll save the other side. Just cut this like so. Obviously watch your fingers and such. Right, it should look like that when you're finished. Here's the flash, as we said. Right, we're going to do now is cut these fingers down here. Right there. We'll cut that across. Okay, so I'm going three from the bottom, or top. Just cut this across. Watch your fingers. Okay, so that should look like that now. This is a hard to use later. Right, now glue it all together, like it says in the instructions. Put the ball in and, accept, and the middle part and the top part. I'm going to show you every step because I want to make sure you know what you're doing. I don't want to skip anything, so you can pause the video when you're making your model. Okay, this is designed to help you. This is why it's so long. This video could be cut down to like 10 minutes if, you, if I really wanted it to. But I want to make sure you I make no mistakes because it's two boxes and a lot of work involved. Okay, the last piece now is to check this out like this. Ah, uh, get on there. And there you go. It should look like this when it's finished. There you go. Look at that, awesome. Yep. <laughs> okay then. Now we need to get these here, the top part. Follow the instructions and glue it on following the instructions. Like I said, I'm going to show you everything on camera so you know that you won't miss anything or make a mistake. Don't forget the little top piece here. Okay. If it's all going correctly, it should look like this. And now we'll connect this piece to the other part. Follow the instructions. I always put extra glue on because it's just me. <laughs> okay. This should slot in there lovely, hopefully. Come on. Yep, just like that. So there you go. Right, you need this now. Make this full guy. You can pick the head from this one or this one. They're both the same, so pick which head you want. I picked over the destroyer face because I just think it looks cooler for shooting people. Okay, let's build this guy. 
Of course, follow the instructions for this because it will be a lot easier to watch the video, but this is just here for reference again. There you go. Destroy a head. Leave the arms to last. Okay, here we go. This part here now, this back piece, we're going to cut this flush. Yeah, see right there. We cut it here. Here we go. And now we're going to glue this on here. Originally, I was going to use an overlord, but I said I want the overlord. More money, uh, more, you know. <laughs> just wanted to keep the overlord, just being tight. <laughs> So why not use this little guy? So perfectly on the back here, like so. You'll connect to the back spine, a bit at the bottom here, which will go in a little hole, add a bit of the pipe. And maybe a bit of the feet. There you go, just check it out like so. The important part is make sure it is centre and it looks good before it dries. So play with it, make sure it looks good, you're happy with it before you let it set, like that's a bit off, so just keep playing with it. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Take your time, when it's dry, cut these little pieces out here, the paddles. And we also need these parts here from the desk, for the overload. This one, and this one. Okay. Okay, this is where a little bit of modifying comes in now. Cut these little, ball, uh, little points off the bottom, make it nice and flat. Like so. I know everybody wants to watch me cut my own thumb open, so keep watching, you never know. <laughs> okay. Right, this part here is going to be glued on like this to give it a nice angle, falling backwards. You can make your panel go across the flat if you want, but I just think it looks cool. Yeah. Like this. I'm positioning it like this so you can get it nice and even on the other side. Use the corner and the plastic piece as a guide, like so. Like so. So, there you go. Just like that. And then you can do exactly the same with the other one because you already have a guide. So there's some dry. Well, I'll add a bit more glue just for extra strength because I always do it. Same with this one. Glue the top. We have the same angle, using the piece of plastic as a guide and the corner, like so. so. We've got a nice angle on it here. Just okay. There we have it. A little bit of glue extra, just for next to your wells. Okay, so let's dry now. Okay, what we're gonna do now, right? Let's put this on here. Let's pop right there, like so. Oops. Let me grab that. Okay, so let's glue that on. So this goes on here like this, you can do this. Same on the other side, I'll show all the steps. I'd like correctly, so it looks like you can just reach, like it's some sort of machine. It looks really cool. How does the females go, by the way? This goes on here. Right, take your time on this, it's important to get in the right position. There you go. Just like that. And the same on the other side. Clear with this part here. This would also be used as a guide, so both sides are symmetrical. And I'll put it on. I'll try and get the angle and position the same as the other side. You want it all looking precise. That's a bit off, I'll play with this now. Yep, that's good, yep. Look at that, just like that. I just let it dry. Okay, cut out these three arms. Okay. The idea is, I want to cut the thumb off the one, and, cut the, and attach the thumb then onto the one with the, the orb, and smooth that out, because the orb is on the wrong, arm, on the wrong hand itself. So I'm going to show how to do that now, so cut the thumb off this one. Put it off up there, just cut this off. Uh, it's really potchy, it's probably the hardest part of the build. If you're not very confident with a model build, you can just skip this. You can have two arms and leave the orb. This is an orb. 
Okay, put up there. I see the... Wait, what's the old... No. Right, this one, yeah. Okay. See this thumb here? It's on the wrong side of the hand. I'm going to cut this off and smooth it down with the knife. I'm going to cut my thumb over. No, they cut my thumb. Hee hee hee. Or did I? You never know. So clear the other side. Like so, now. Just get a small bit of glue. And put the thumb on. And there you go. There you go. Just position it so it looks nice and natural. There you have it. This is now the opposite side. Let me cut this arm off here at the joint. There we go. And the thumb of the other hand you cut off will connect the arm to that. <laughs> there we go. So we cut this off now. This can go in the scrap bin or body bin or wherever you have. I'll just throw it out. Just cut it there. Oops. Just cut it like so. Oops, yeah, the joints are there. So I like this. <laughs> okay. So that's that arm there. And the other arm can just say the position you had it from the screws. Like so. So now it's just time to glue them in. Position them in the way you like. And then we'll get on to the other build. This is the default arm, and I have it up. Just put a push a button. I just like that effect. It's like, you're gonna die. So just check it in. I'll go over a big button and just leave it there. Excellent. It's like, yeah, look at that. It's like, come on, just a little bit closer and I'll push this button. Yeah, it looks up there. Okay. Yep, look at that. It's like, come on, come closer, bang. <laughs> okay, this is where the biggest fight comes in though. Put the orb on first and glue in the, the joint at the same time. It's much easier if you do this wet, but there's a lot more hassle. If you do it correct, you can't even tell it's been cut up and joined together. Okay. Obviously you can swear the model if you need to. <laughs> Use all the tools going and so on. This is the hardest part, in my in my eyes anyway. There we go, that looks good. There we go. Right, okay, let me do this. Get these. Right. See this now? I want to cut this two from the bottom or top. Cut this like this. Right, see that? We'll do this. Oh, come on, get there. There we go. Okay, and now we'll do this. Be fancy. Just cut them all off on the one side, down to the bottom, like so. Okay, come on, right. There's the other flash there on camera. And do the same for your side to where you cut it. And leave two at the bottom. The reason why you leave two, it'll help with the strength of the structure later on in the build. I'll let my balls be as strong as possible. Oh, see, like so. And there you go. You should have this. Okay, do it together. Like so. Right. I see this part now. I'm going to cut it there. Okay, use your hobby saw or treble or whatever you use. Just cut it nice and flat. Make sure it's flat, okay? It's very important to keep it as flat as you can. And there we go. You should end up with something that looks like this. Looking really good. Now, you want to cut this part here. Use your saw for the go with the dremel. Make sure this is nice and flush and straight. Because it will go this way. So just give us a quick cut, like so. Right, just cut it apart. So we'll use that later. Be able to flash and so on. And you should have so it looks like this. Okay, make sure you cut the right end off before you cut it. Okay, you want the two things at the bottom, like that. There you go. Okay. 
Uh, this part, yeah, it should have started a little bit. Okay, just sort of connect with that at the bottom. Right, here we go. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, so we'll glue this together now. Near the bottom, because I would attach, because I like the extra strut. You don't have to do that part if you don't want to. Do this part here, the underneath part, and we glue back together. Okay. I, I know the middle part looks ugly, but we'll sort out later. Just follow the guide, and you should be fine. See that second part of the bottom now gives extra strength. Make sure that you keep this nice and straight and level, okay, with drawing. Very important. So see these? We can use these for extra details. So cut them off like so. Use the pliers easier. <laughs> Come off in twos. Make sure they're the same ones each size, as they are symmetrical. Very important. Okay, you'll do this sure, like so. Oops, that blue. Right, we'll add those parts here, because it'll add strength, and it'll also make it look cooler. Okay, like so. It's the last thing you want to model that falls apart. There you go. See? Nice and good. Same with the other side. Right, just check that on there, position it in the, in the way you like it. Oop. Like so. Okay, now this part here. Right. Make sure, you're gonna cut these out now. You're gonna try to make sure you come out symmetrically. So try to follow the video if you can. Come to the center like this. So, so by now, I just cut this like that. Right, cut it like this. Now cut it symmetrically across, so you make, you've got the same cut in each one. Okay, like this. Just not possible. There we go. Right, you should have with these. We should cut off all the excess plastic on the inside, you want this to be nice and flat. So this, all this comes off. So just cut it like so. Oh, almost on my finger then. Keep watching. <laughs> okay, same with the other one. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, these, we'll get back to these in a bit. Don't lose these. Nice and smooth. Yep, yeah. nice and good. Okay. This part now, we're going to cut this part off the left over so it's the same size. That's a spare one in case you make a mistake. So cut this now, nice and smooth with a dremel or saw across this here. Cut inside the joint, you know, the connected piece or the detail, whatever you call it. Like this. Oh, there we go. Here off the flash, you should have two of the same size. Like so. Yep, looking good. Okay, this part here now, I'm going to cut this lip off here, so give us a quick slip, like so, no, like that, stay with the other side, like this, yep, there we go, should look like that. Right, we'll add these in now, like this, and we'll give it that extra oomph it needs. So add glue, sorry we're off, we're off camera with you. <laughs> add glue to the sides, oops, right, now check this in here. It's very important to do these both at the same time so you make them look symmetrical. Like so, like this. There we go, oops, add it, right, there we go, just like this. Now, for the other side, do the same, glue, position it in the correct place, make it look the same as the other side. As you can see now, it's going to look like it has a ah, the closest version of plastic that you're going to get anyway. <laughs> okay. 
Just take your time when it's done, watch this, okay? Make sure it looks nice. Right, I can add a little bit of glue for extra bit of weld on the bottom, like I always do. And it should have, so it looks like this. Looks nice and good, nice and powerful. Okay, let's see this part here. I'm going to glue this. And I'm going to add those little bottom parts on my art, my cow just now. Like so. But make sure now, right, to get the right position of these before they dry. Okay, this is the very important part. Yeah, make sure you eyeball it up, make sure it looks good. And try and connect the two pieces together as well, just for that extra strut. Because a big piece of plastic, you want as much plastic glued to that as possible. Yep, yeah, nice position it. So I've actually put them, I glued them both together as well as the bottom. And I've had a bead of glue for the top as well, this last dried. Just for that extra strut. There we go, just like this. More glue. Right, yeah, that's good. Right, same for the next side now. Glue this part. Position it. And make sure you glue it well. And make sure you get it looking nice. The key point is making sure it looks symmetrical. Or as close as you possibly can get. Like so. That's perfect now. If you go up like this, it's too high. Yep. So do not bother there, I'll just glue some more glue on it. Put some more glue on it. And there we go. Looking brilliant. Yep, happy with that. Okay, these now. Cut these out for more than two sets. This will be your fin for the front. Take a Dremel knife and cut this off and flatten it if you can. Keep it as flat as you possibly can, like so. Right, do that with all four, like I just did. Hit off the flash, etc. Okay. Let's see this part here now. Cut these two big pieces out. And we want to get this massive thing in the middle. This orb thing. I know it's a waste to cut this up just for this one part, but you do need it. So for the instructions, cut these off. Okay, I'll speed up the second one. I'll just show you how to do one. So cut it out like that. Do the same with the second part. Okay. Okay, you should have two of these now. And here comes the most annoying part. You want to shave these down just so they fit inside that hole. So just follow this now. Shave this down. Of course, use protection if you're not comfortable with the dremel. So you don't cut your fingers off or anything. And just shout at me if you cut yourself. <laughs> okay. So you're going to shear this down as much as you can like so. So watch your fingers and such. This is a really difficult part as well. You can just fill it up with green stuff you don't want. And you want to just fit in there like that. That's actually perfect. See? If this, part, if this part scares you, fill it up with green stuff and leave it. But for the detail is worth the extra effort. Just save the second all. This does take a while, so don't rush this part. Okay. Right. Give us a flash. See if that's yeah, sweet. So glue this now and make sure it goes in nice and smooth. But what you don't want, you don't want it coming out too much. You want it basically almost flat. Okay, I'll save the other side like this. Then when you glue both together, make sure they both look symmetrical. If one is fat than the other, it'll pop out more. So take your time and just make sure it looks good. And use the glue there to go on the outside just to smooth any miscuts. If it's our perfect circle, the glue will take care of the rest. So when it dries, it'll be perfect. Okay, there we have it. Awesome. There is a reason why you don't use the ball that comes with it, okay? You'll get that later. So don't... <laughs> Make sure you follow the instructions before you want to change things. Or at least watch the whole video. But glue these down the side here. These will glue in directly to the front of the Tesseract R. 
Right, I see this orb that we just put in. This part needs to go over the orb like so. Just get in the center if you can and make sure it looks really nice. Okay, like this. Now on the second one, make sure it's symmetrical. Right? It's very important to keep them looking like this meant to be on there. Take your time and do not rush this, okay? And the third one at the bottom like this. Clean the top bit as well if you have to. Oops, make sure get on like that. I can get a dabby on. Yep, and glue the fourth one on. But don't rush this part, okay? Take your time. Look at that. It end up with something that looks like this. There you go. Now it's looking nice. Okay. Yep, as you can see now, nice and symmetrical. You can tell us a custom build. I've cut these out from the two boxes. These are all where they are. Okay, cut this part off here. Try to keep it flat straight if you can. Okay, same with the other one. Okay. Right. So glue these like this. So glue them together, like I could just show you. But try and make sure they stay straight, okay? So there's no bend in them. This will be explained later on because the guns will be good on these. Okay, do all this, follow the instructions for these to make these. I'll do this really, really fast on camera because the instructions will show you what to do. Add all these together. So just make sure now you glue these in. So if you haven't got a catacomb crab barge, always glue the exhaust in. The amount of catacomb crab barge that I found will miss the exhaust is unbelievable. So I'll just check this in and make sure it's glued in. Okay, make sure it's on the, on the rider and such. Do the same with all of them. But the most important part is make sure they're all, all in a position you're happy with before the glue dries. So take your time, reposition, give it a good look over and be happy with it. Like, I'm really happy with that. See? Just do it there. There you go. Look at that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. This part here now. This is where the guns are going to go. So you put some glue here. And you want to glue this part on, but you don't want it perfectly flat, you want it pointed up a bit. Because the part of the end is at a slightly angle. So you'll try to match that angle. Push it forward. You can't see it too well on the camera. But if you if you glue it flat, the guns will be pointed down, it will look very good. Okay. Okay now this part here and these. What shall I do this? Can I put these on the opposite way around? Okay, I'm not making a mistake, I mean to do this. This is the opposite way that it says in the book. Okay. It looks quite funky if a little TIE fighter. <laughs> or something. Who knows? Okay, so you head up with this. And now, this is going to go on here, at the end of this, just so it doesn't look so damn ugly. So this goes on here like this. Oops. Make sure it's in the center and symmetrical. Make sure you get as best as you can. Like so. Oop, get our base and thing. There you go. Oop, a little more inside there. That was good. Yep, there we go. Just like that right now. Okay, right, this part here, you cut this out. I cut these little things off the corner. These things here. Just cut these off. Like so. Yep. Now we glue this on. I will protect that the piece we just glued on. Just to give it that proper, authentic, naked look, because you need the logo on there somewhere. Right there, right on the top of that, so it looks nice. There we go. Take your time, make sure it looks nice. And there you have it. Look at that. Awesome. Okay, let's keep, let's keep on going. Right, this part here now, we'll cut these off. All three. 
Make sure you clean off the flash. I watch it out on camera because it saves time. Okay. Well, this part now. You can glue these in the center of these fins. So that way it looks to the opponent like they open the shut. So it adds more effect and it makes it all look alive. And that's just an echo player. Not hardly anybody knows what these look like anyway. So this just adds to the effect. So put this on like this. Slightly off to the side like this. Angle it up, down or the center any way you want. And there we go. Oops, yeah that's good. Symmetrical is always best if you play with robots. If you get symmetrical. Just play around with it. And there you go. It looks like it opens shuts when it shoots, adds effect to it. Nothing's meant to be like that. There we go. Okay then, next up now. These. Cut out just these parts, three of them. Should have three left. Now follow this instructions here. Cut all of these top bits off here. All of these on all three. Cut them nice and flush. Okay, now this part here, we cut this off, cut this off. I cut this big piece off here. Okay, let up with this. Clean up the side of the, of the flash and etc. Okay, right, now this is the important part. Make sure you cut only two of these, like this. Like this. Okay. Just two. Make sure they're nice flat, so nothing is meant to be there. Same with this one. Right. This one, you leave this one on. Now this part now, that you shot at before I thought I used it earlier. <laughs> this will be our gun. It's gonna go here above this little piece of detail here. Like this. Okay. That is why we didn't use it. Okay, so do your thing. Glue it on. Uh, get in the position that you like. I like mine just about this detail because it's a nice guide. I don't think it's meant to be on there like that. Yep. Look at that. Obviously my shoe is in the centre. <laughs> Glue these two things together, left over parts. If you already got a spare one. I couldn't find the other one, so I just glued these other two together. Alright, so one is two sections long, okay? Oops. So we're gonna try it and cut the top off. The bottom off. But uh Super fake. Right, make sure it's nice and neat. We will go this way. There you go. So, we want to cut this part off with the gravel. Just the one section. Like so. Oops. Just so you know, if I, do, if I do cut myself, I will leave it on camera for you, okay? I know that you will die dying to watch it happen. <laughs> okay, let's just glue this on the circle now. And when you glue it on, imagine the tank hovering and shooting forward. Okay, you don't want to put it in the, in the sky, or you don't want to aim at the floor. You want to try and guess where it's going to be pointing. I'm going to go for like this position here, like so. Like that. Just hold it place that sticks. Then we'll get onto stage 2. I'll make sure it's set there, obviously, unless you go for a side shot. Okay, these now. This one here, that you did cut the bottom part off, this one goes off first. Okay, this is the, uh, um, the, I don't know, the power bars or whatever it is. The feed, the gun. You glue it here, and the bottom here. This is very tricky to do. Okay. So you glue this on the bottom here. Try and get the center of the bottom like this. It's hard on camera. And touching the top of the gun. 
like this. If you come, do your best, okay? It's very fidgety, but it's well worth it, yeah. Like this, like that. Oops. You can let dry the particular two on. I like to work with my glue wet. So I will do all three when the glue so wet. It's a lot harder for me, but I have much more control. The other two will on the side like so, as you can see with the top ones are moving. But just make sure to dry. This is my last one. On the other side. And the key point is make sure it looks symmetrical again, okay? Like so, look at that. Not nasty enough. There we go, sweet. So let's dry. Okay, this part here. Yeah, it's almost finished, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's all easy now. Right, cut this part like this. That's a gift, nice and flat. So cut this off to the side. And the side here. There we go. Right. Cut, let's do the flash and stuff, whatever. Right. This would be now the glued on here. Like so. Try and position it directly in front of that ball thing. That we pick up. That we did. Stick this on like this. And there you go. This adds a lot of detail to the land outskirts of the model. Okay, it's this part here now. One of these. I'm going to cut this part here. Top part here. Just cut this off. Right there. You see that? There we go. There. Cut it there. Snip it off. You have spares if you lose this. Yeah, this is going to go about halfway in between the two points. Okay. The forge roll has got a small one there. So this is going to go there, like so. Oops. To get centre and get pointed upwards because it's harder to break that way. Like so. Okay. Oops. Just, there you go. I actually, I was actually having this model <laughs> to dry. Okay, these now. Pick which gun option you want. I'm going to do all mine because I'm going to magnetize them. I'm not going to show that camera because it saves time. So cut these guns here so they're all flat. Like so. Like this. And the same with the other two. If, you don't, if you're not going to magnetize them, just stick them directly on where I show you now. But I would recommend just putting the extra 10 minutes to sort of magnetize your guns. Okay, there you go. Okay, these are going to go in this part here I told you about. And this should be nice and, well not flat, but it should be almost flat. Like so. And they're going to go on like that. Okay. But I'm not going to show you magnetizing the guns because there's plenty of tutorials online for that. So I'll just show the other one I made. This is the prototype. As you can see, nice and magnetized. You just chuck them on. And boom. Off you go. So I hope you all like it. And thank you all for watching. So I hope you will enjoy this. Well, one quick thing: use the green stuff to fill up the hand, the orb, and all the little parts that need to be filled. And behind the big massive gun on the bottom, don't forget to fill that up as well. <laughs> it almost sounds weird too soon. Oh my like yeah. <laughs> so fill this in like this, and I'll show sure the size that we filled up too, just in case you damage the plastic and so on. So just fill this in really quick. Okay. Right. If this top it here, add a bit on top like this. You can add signs or whatever. I just keep my nice and flat, just in the paint job. Okay, make sure you like blends in. Same with the thing here. Right. These side parts here now will be added. These little exhaust vent things. So you're just gonna flat this off and just smooth it off. Just to, the paint looks nice. Okay, it's all cosmetics. It's worth the effort. Fill in any gaps that you might have. I don't, I've really got many. Simply because I made one already. <laughs> okay, well that's the finished product. So thank you all for watching. I hope this helps you. And the best part of this build is you have two overlords. So if you're going to buy an, o an Overlord, you basically get this for free. Yeah, if you buy two HQs, you get three turns like that. 
So that is how you make a plastic tennis racket art. And here's a quick slideshow that I added in that we painted it. Of me paint <laughs> of me with the finished product. <laughs> Catch you all again in the next video.